Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your May 2018 Mid-Month General Readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers. As always, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes and for taking the time to send in your feedback and comments and support. Uh, greatly appreciated and also a big thank you to all of my clients out there, both regular and new, for continuing to keep me so busy with uh, personal readings. Always an honor and a pleasure. Thank you. If any of you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, uh, you can get more information and my contact details by going to my YouTube channel's homepage and clicking on the little about button or clicking on the description bar of all the videos I post. Please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. Uh, turnaround time for personal readings is usually pretty fast. It's uh, what I do full time, five to six days a week. So uh, turnaround time is anywhere from uh, uh, a few days upwards of a couple of weeks, but almost always within a two week period of time, we can set up a reading for you live or recorded. And uh, I can usually get back to you within the first day or the first 24 hours of your initial contact. So if you're interested, email me and uh, we'll set something up for you. Uh, for quick answers to the fast, easy questions, you can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy, and that's also with my contact details. So let's get into this. This reading is for the water sign of Scorpio for the month of May 2018, mid month. So we're looking at the remainder of May, the last couple of weeks of May. As always, if you know you're rising in your moon sign, watch those videos too. They can provide additional clarification and sometimes they resonate a little more predictively for you because, you know, these general readings can be kind of tricky sometimes. They're, uh, you know, we're reading for a wide variety of people with lots of different things going on in your life. So they're always going to resonate a little differently in the details and specifics of your life. But the energy and advice fundamentally remains the same. So it's often helpful to, uh, watch your rising and moon sign videos too if you know them. Okay Scorpio, let's see what the remainder of May 2018 has in store for you. <clears throat> we begin with the Nine of Cups, followed by the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups, followed by Death, Transformation, and from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the star. Wow, Scorpio, this is a really bright, lovely reading. I, I have this feeling that it's been kind of a hard one. I want. I'm, I'm not sure. I want. I almost said victory. I'm not sure if that's quite the right right word. I feel like you guys have just come out of, or are in the process of coming out of something uh, that's been very difficult and painful and challenging. And um, there was really uh, a, a, an incredibly valuable lesson learned, both with you and and somebody else significant to you, um, in what's showing up to be a soulmate relationship. Of course, <clears throat> I always clarify that soulmate relationships don't necessarily mean in the romantic sense. It could be, you know, that best friend, kindred spirit, uh, sisterhood, brotherhood kind of friendship, or it could be one that's uh, also, you know, your love partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, but there's still this underlying thread of karmic connectiveness and deep friendship and connection as well. Uh, your overall energy for the remainder of May 2018, your crowning card is the star, which is a major arcana card and one of my favorite. It's so beautiful. The message of this card is hope, faith, and optimism, but it's a renewed sense of hope, faith, and optimism and peace and healing. It's one of the wish fulfillment cards of trusting in divine timing and orchestration that the path you're on, um, you know, is leading to joy and fulfillment in your life and trusting in that, uh, giving everything that you can step by step as this woman is doing, trusting that when she needs her waters replenished, uh, they will be because the source that she's pouring them into herself, her trust and faith, uh, is limitless. Uh, and it usually, sh it renewed hope, faith, and optimism because it usually shows up after a period of, of darkness or despair or challenge or, uh, you know, sickness, uh, difficulty, you know, kind of that, as I always say, darkness into light, winter into spring uh, kind of energy. So there's something that's giving you a renewed sense of hope, faith, and optimism about the path that you're walking on, particularly in regards to um, what's showing up as a soulmate or karmically connected relationship. We have the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. 
The Nine of Cups is uh, the traditional wish fulfillment card. Uh, it's sometimes called winning the lottery card, or it's really a card about getting what you want and overabundance of what you want, as this man on this card has. He has more than enough to drink, more than enough to eat. His physical surroundings are comfortable. He's really happy. His cups are overflowing. This is overabundance, and he's wanting to share that with friends and family and everybody around him. Uh, the cautionary advice always to getting what you want is uh, sometimes, you know, uh, we get what we think we want and it sometimes is not everything that it's cracked up to be so always that cautionary advice but in that preposition it implies a sense of overflowing abundance and a wanting to share and spill that out and the clarifying card to that uh, is the two of cups which is the soulmate card and uh, out of all five of your cards to Scorpio uh, two of them are major arcana cards and the remaining three are cup cards and cups uh, in the tarot this is water energy and in the tarot this is the energy of our emotions our heart our feelings our emotional atmosphere and it's also the part of our life that deals with relationships of all kinds so the two of cups is that uh, and so by by looking at this abundance of, of water energy it looks like for a lot of you the remainder of May is going to be one where you know uh, it's an emotional month or emotions are at the forefront but in a positive way the two of cups is the traditional soulmate card it, it speaks of in romance it would be more than just physical and chemical attraction this is a karmic deep connection this is uh, you know a meeting of the mind the heart the soul the spirit a, a really wonderful connection in more than just obvious tangible tangible ways uh, you can apply the same energy to other areas of your life too it may not resonate you know as as romance or this connected you know a specific relationship issue for some of you watching you can i mean in business when the two of cups shows up it represents a really great union maybe between a person and their and a, the great the perfect job for them or the union of two companies that benefits everybody in more than just the tangible financial ways fundamentally the two of cups means a beautiful union something that was meant to be meant to come together um and it and it, and it creates a sense of connection and happiness that goes far above what you can just see on the surface. So beautiful energy. But I, it looks very clearly like for the majority of you, um, this is going to resonate in your personal relationships, a specific personal relationship, whether that's a love and romance uh, uh, soulmate or, you know, a best friend, someone that you just really feel you're, you're really connected with on a variety of levels. There's a sense of overflowing happiness and abundance because there's a sense of renewed hope, faith and optimism. And these are the two wish fulfillment cards, the strongest wish fulfillment cards in the tarot. So, uh, you know, I, I, there's a transformation happening here. Um, but I, f I feel like there's a transformation happening in your mind and in your heart. And I feel like it's because, again, of something difficult that's happened uh, in the past um, and that maybe has exploded, exploded recently or or came up recently and it was difficult and emotional and painful and challenging and I think you know when we, we when we use words like fault or blame when relationships go through difficulties it's never just clearly on one side because we human beings are complex individuals but I feel like there was a significant lesson learned um, through this and uh, whatever this experience was uh, you know Maybe you're in a relationship and the other person hurt you, you hurt the other person, there was things going on on both sides. And I think for the majority of you, you made a decision to allow this, to learn from this, to evolve and grow from this and actually um, begin a healing process within this relationship and within yourself because uh, the next two sets of cards, uh, which chronologically, because I usually pull two cards per week, uh, you know, could represent close to or, or at the end of, of May 2018, but time, as I say, is always fluid. This can be energy just together, you know, all together going on over the next couple of weeks. We have the Ace of Cups and Death, tremendous and powerful combination of cards. So Aces represent the number ones, new beginnings, the start of something new, something which holds a lot of potential in its cups. Sometimes this can be new love and romance, uh, and for some of you, it might be somebody that you've met recently that you've felt the soulmate connection with that maybe you've had some negative relationship experiences in the past and this new one is giving you this renewed sense of hope faith and optimism but the ace of cups also represents you know a new beginning it's a new beginning in an emotional way and it can represent the heart opening up again um, perhaps in a way that it hasn't been for quite some time and i do feel like for 
a lot of you there is this emotional renewal within yourself the context is within the soulmate relationship but it's like there's this lesson that's been learned and your heart has learned that it's been maybe a costly painful lesson but you're allowing that to um, to take that in to evolve and grow from this and as a result of that the, the heart is opening up in a way that it hasn't before that it hasn't in a long time and there's an emotional renewal in yourself and per, and within this relationship too and the fact that it's clarified by death is such a strong underscore of this because this death represents the ending of something a complete and total ending uh, because the ground needs to be or a complete and utter transformation because birth follows death beginnings follow endings that's in every ending there is the seeds of the next the new beginning uh, transformation occurring and usually death shows up when whatever is ending is old it's something in connection with the past and so something is there's a transformation happening that's fostering this emotional renewal this heart waking up again this healing and moving forward and again I feel like this ending in and of itself whatever it has been I actually feel like for a lot of you I'm getting like a belief system uh, a mindset that has led you to maybe uh, and, and perhaps the, your partner to to look at something in a certain way function a certain way within relationships operate from a certain way from an old belief system and that's caused some recent upheaval but there's a lesson to be learned here and a lot of you are learning it, and it is transformational and it is laying to rest or there's the opportunity for this transformation to occur to lay aside this way of looking at something or behaving in a relationship sense and your connective relationships and the heart is undergoing a renewal and a transformation absolutely beautiful energy and so powerful uh, Scorpio so uh, this is one of those where I really look forward to whatever the feedback is because um, it's beautiful it, it, it really looks like what you're going through right now and for the next few weeks and and for some time after that is um, it, it's a uh, it's a learning curve an evolutionary curve for you so uh, well done Scorpio beautiful so Scorpio that pretty much wraps up your uh, May 2018 mid-month general readings I hope you have enjoyed it and found it helpful and useful it really is a lovely beautiful reading uh, again if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me uh, you can get more information my contact details by clicking on the little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage or uh, the description bar of all the videos I post please feel free to email me directly at Maggie the number one McGuire I would be most happy to work with you and uh, for the quick answers to the quick easy uh, simple questions you can also find me on the smartphone app instant go under Irish Gypsy so Scorpio I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the June 2018 general readings and until then as always I wish you joy peace blessings and a happy life take care bye bye